Okay, another 45 minute, 15 second game. So this opponent is slightly higher rated than the last one. Hopefully I'm not going to get any static from this guy. Let's push through here. As usual, advanced level answer to chess. As I'm playing higher level players or any player now, I do have my focal points. We've demonstrated how we look at the weak areas on things. Yeah, so initially my thought process is I'm going to be attacking these pawns, this area, because they're potentially looking to go on kingside castle. So it's going to be a weak area because they'll only be supported by the king. Then obviously, obviously I'm thinking draw their pieces out to be on the other side of the board so the king is stuck there by itself. That's the thought process. So if we take this pawn here, his knight takes, knight takes, and bishops in the centre, blah blah. So that works out quite nicely for them. But it also works out quite nicely for us. So I'll just simply capture. these key squares here takes with the bishop rather than the knight I see doesn't make a difference it's in this type of position here now because this this piece has been overworked and it's kind of misplaced in the center of the board it does make it a little bit easy for us to actually attack these pieces probably thinking well no he's got a piece more advanced than yourself so you can't really say that. I'm going to just bring the bishop out here. It's not really, if he leaves it there and it doesn't protect the knight, we'll take it. But the bishop has a twofold um, reasoning behind being in this position. So it's really looking to sit here to basically work its way to here and potentially at some point get to this, this area. So he does protect. So we can bring our queen up. It's got sights again attacking this loose pawn here if he decides to move the knight. If not, potentially could take the knight. Well, like I say, not really looking at doing an explosive independent. Well, it depends on what they do next. <laughs> okay, well. They've not broke the 45 minute mark yet, so obviously they're moving a bit speedy. It's 15 second increments, so I suppose 15 seconds is a, is a long time to think of a move, you know. So. We have the options. We can just basically develop, as we were going to do. Could bring the bishop out bring the bishop here there's no rush but the main thing is capturing this here does give us an advantage yet again because in essence we'd be plus one he may believe that then he's got a better position because his queen potentially come and attack the king that type of thing but we're sort of attacking the two uh, the areas that we were focusing on right at the very beginning of the board. The opponent has given us these. We haven't forced our way into that. So he may have to consider going queenside castling after all that. Does he take? Not. I think he's probably not forced to. But if he wants to be a piece down. So if he does take then obviously the queen is taking here because we are on this pawn obviously this pawn can drop probably bring his knight though you know to block off here It's a delicate operation. 
Now, I like this guy's style, they're taking their time, nice and steady, they're not quibbling about time. But they potentially moved a little bit too fast in the early part to get to this position, which is them potentially being down a pawn, a crucial pawn, as we all were, were constantly saying now, if we are a pawn up, it's an advantage. It really is, it can make all the difference if you're going towards the end game. It can make all the difference. So he does take, so we capture like we said. Knight comes here, blocking off. I think I'm just bringing a bishop out, and getting ready to castle, king safety. I think that's what I'm doing. If his knight comes out, he's on this pawn. Oops, did that wrong. His knight comes out, he's on the pawn. So if we did that, can his queen come and look for some sort of fancy trade? Well, it could come there. It's not going to go there. So I think that's okay. King safety is key. He'll get king. He'll get castle before me, I think. Yeah. So I'm gonna go here with the bishop. We still have availability of these pawns. Sketchy plan is better than no plan. So yeah. So he's off. We're gonna castle as well. And now he's going back to speedy moves, you know, trying to catch me off guard. Yeah, so I move real fast like, whoa, I've, I've got him now, I've got him. But all we need to do is move the queen off of the line. And we want to be targeting, it was these squares, wasn't it? So get this one as well. Mm-hmm. Have to be careful because his knight is still on our pawn here. Okay, so we've got Bishop looking to dance a little bit, maybe a bit of a pin through to his queen here. Get this rook supporting the pawn, get this knight out definitely supporting this pawn. Probably that's probably the next move. Bring the knight out so we're linking the rook so we can put pressure onto the queen. Yep. So now we've gone back to going slow again. So whenever you see somebody move quick, most times um, online, especially um, even over the board, actually, when they move quick, you know, you, you think, "Whoa, I'm being set up for something here." I did say he could come here with a two on one here, but my knight can come and protect, can't he? So like we said, that's the next move we're going to do, bring the knight out to protect the pawn. And we do have space now for the rook to come and put a check on the queen. So now the key target is there. You can always still get this one as well, use this. So we've extended the target area. Bishop's looking for here, so he may look to not maybe push that one, might have to have some support, might. So he'd have to come there, then to come there, then to go there to attack the knight. So that's like three moves away so that he can get this pawn. Our knight does have this movement here. So it's attacking another pawn, but with a deadly fork on his rooks. So that could be a good knight dance if they forget themselves. Okay, it looks like they've gone deep. I'll, I'll bring the recording back on when they come back. 
Okay, so they've actually moved. They brought the bishop down here, and as we said, we can bring the um, rook across here to put a check on the queen. Cat and cat no longer go there now because obviously queen can take the pawn here or the knight can because it's going to have a two on one there. So it would have been a nice picture that one. Bishop could take. Bishop could take. I think it's attacking a higher piece first, though, isn't it? As always, smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong. I've got to stick with the mantra. So his queen has to move, but he still wants to stay on in contact with the bishop. So he's going to have to go there. We can take, it takes, uh, he's still on the pawn here, maybe bring this rook across supporting, let's get this out of the way, get it, get it simplified, because we are plus one so we can afford to trade down, he's, look, he's got three on one there actually, I have to bring this rook here, finest of details it's, try, it's fighting to get the pawn back so so long as I've got pieces that can defend it I will do if I didn't have I wouldn't lose any sleep over losing the pawn you know because the opponent's got it back that's fair enough then we'll look at improving our position attacking the key squares that we highlighted first two were these two and then this one was added So still sticking with the plan. Queen's got an eye on one already. Rook's got an eye on one already here, so that's not too bad. It's looking at the big picture. What can I see through these? I can see the target point that I've been focusing on. So through the knight is that pawn, that square, and through our own pawn is this square here. So that's how we do our targeting with the answer it's not a direct thing it's um it's better doing it stealthily so your opponent doesn't know what you're doing doesn't know your plan and this is like stealth attack our plan is to attack these areas here it's like he's gone into the tank again i'll pause there oh they've made a move queen's moved to the side attacking our pawn bring the knight attacking but does that lose me tempo I think that I lose out on that one don't I yeah yeah I do that doesn't look good could bring the rug back but that's um, negating the whole aspect can't bring it here because the queen will take don't think there's very good squares for it is there Hmm. Can't push up because the queen takes. Bring the queen back, but I'm in front of his rook. Oh, scary times. We'll bring it here, protecting the knight, but then the pawn's gone. Like we said, we're not really, we weren't bothered about the opponent getting the pawn back. So we're sticking true with that sort of thought process. So I'm going to actually go here and take this pawn. It's got no protection on it. There are problems with the rook coming to attack the queen, but I can bring the queen back, I suppose, depending on how I'm feeling. Maybe it's here. It's something because he's going to get the pawn anyway, so we may as well see if we can keep the advantage if we can. Like I said, if we didn't have anything, we were we wouldn't lose any sleep over it. We try and get a better position on the board. 
he does have pressure you see on here he's got one two three so he could in essence just take this pawn with the knight so it's all kicking off now basically we're plus two and it's about to kick off I can I can feel it in the water it's, oh and it's actually going for the pawn oh man I thought it was gonna jazz it up I have either oops excuse me I have a capture in here or attacking the queen with the rook because now all we need to do is bring our rook here attack his um, queen or we can just bring our knight here get activated up here putting checks on his king uh, which one's going to be better for me yeah I've resigned myself to losing this but we could push the pawn up onto the knight couldn't we as well smaller piece attacking a higher piece smaller piece attacking a monstrous piece but then his queen can always take this pawn we can take this pawn with the rook but then his rook comes and puts pressure on maybe here but they can't do that because then the queen goes here with a check ooh interesting interesting right right okay you know it's remembering what you've just said <laughs> that's the issue with it what did i say rook could be here putting a check on the queen queen takes the pawn we go up yeah it was that it was as simple as i wanted so let's go with that smaller piece attacking a higher higher piece um, I think the, there might have been legs with the pawn attacking the knight here but the knight's so flexible good to go up like we said so now we've got like the back rank threat on this area but his rook can always protect by going here but at least we've got them going backwards if he does do that so then he doesn't have a rook in, the, in play could take this but it's not forced to do that because there is an open file here that he can take advantage of himself and go for his own back ranker Ooh, steady eddy right okay so that initial move then of coming here to go there is looking quite tasty actually or even to go I don't think his knight's going to allow us to do that bam um, but then we have the rook but then he's got gonna have a back ranker let's move let's move we need to pressure the king area we're already now on that line covering the key squares like we had right from the start of the game that was the plan to target these areas Knight takes. Oh, Queen's there as well. It's going to take the Queen. Yep. Don't forget that. Oh, sorry. Knight. If he takes, he loses his Queen. this queen is kind of not forced to take it and have to he can move his queen somewhere if he wants to because his knight has gone woohoo ah, I was just about to do a knee jerk reaction then you know mm. Oh, it's, it's safe. Let's grab. 
the knight is safe the pawn can take if the knight takes so that's no problem and if he does do that we can go upwards attack but we need to give out oh he's going for the exchange but he's given up his rook he's given up his rook because of this fork here on the king so I'll let it marinate for a bit then may resign yeah moved the king but he hasn't resigned do we take with the rook or do we take with the knight probably take with the rook because then we've got a rook here yeah let's take with the rook rook's pressure in the rook so it's a rook versus a knight and they've resigned